All right. Thank you so much for joining me, Rachel. Appreciate no you jumping on. Thanks for having me. So, all good. All right. So, Rachel, there's going to be a couple of people watching this. So, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do for work? And what's something that you do that brings you joy outside of work? Sure. So I'm Rachel. Um, I am a soon-to-be wife and a mum of a three-year-old little boy um, who's just a lot of my life. Um, I work in purchasing um, full-time and I went back when my son was about six months old. Um, And outside of work and portfolio life, I just enjoy spending time with friends and family, to be honest, having a good laugh and a good glass of wine and a good feed really it's a simple things for me a good feed glass of wine feed awesome some good yeah. food I love that all right yeah. cool so um tell us a little bit about um before you met me because obviously people are going to be watching this thinking about and talking about property right so yeah. when you met me or before you met me what do you think was the thing that was holding you back the most from buying a property or the right investment property for you Sure. So, I, well, I guess I think the main thing was the fear of the unknown and the fear of choosing the wrong property, um, mm. which is why I'm so glad that, you know, you and I connected and started chatting about that because, you know, I was looking, we were looking for investments for probably a couple of years and I just was too scared to pull the trigger because I wasn't mm. sure if it was the right location, if it was going to succeed, if we were going to lose money. Um, and it just wasn't really a risk I was considering taking at that point. Um, and then I met you and yeah, I've learned heaps and I am very confident. So good. What do you think's helped with that confidence? Um, just the education and, and your confidence, to be honest, and your knowledge mm. in the industry and how things have gone and how they're going to go. Um, and yeah, just having that. I guess safety net was just, it was just easy for us to make the decision and just go for it. Yeah. Knowledge. Good on you. You're a very, very empowered investor now. I can tell you that much right now. And what do you think was the thing that you were most fearful? You said uh, there was some fear. Was what, Mm -hmm. what was the thing that you were most fearful about? Was it the fearful of losing money? So buying the wrong property? Was that what it was? Yeah. Losing money for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And just not being able to, yeah, I guess gain that back or, you know, potentially it making it harder for us to build a portfolio if if we're making the wrong choice yeah good on you and how do you feel now about the choices that you've made I'm excited I can't wait yeah I mean it's still early days as you know but um it's all been so easy and yeah it's just been it's actually been quite enjoyable whereas if I had done it on my own I just I would just be going around in circles, not making yeah. any decisions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause you were stuck in analysis paralysis, I think for a while, cause you were talking to me back and forth for maybe like 12 months yeah. sussing. And then you're like, Oh, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then you had that right moment. So exactly. what were, you told me a couple of things that you've learned. Tell me what is, what is one or two things that you've taken away from us working together whilst you bought this next investment property? What's one yep. or two things that you've learned that have like really stood out to you that you'll take away forever? Yeah, I think that um, one of the biggest things I've learned is using debt to your advantage is a good thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing to have debt if it's the right kind of debt. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Um, and I guess, yeah, like, you know, compound, compounding interest um, and using that to our advantage as well um, and just creating, you know, multiple streams of passive income through real estate love that cool yeah. it's interesting because so many people don't understand the power of compounding and leverage leverage being the debt and now that you understand that they're some of the two biggest tools you just be laughing now yeah. Moving forward. yeah exactly exactly yeah and yeah I guess just having that empowerment and knowledge to have the confidence to make those decisions and know that you know it will be repaid yeah. In the long run when we when we can start, you know, building up our portfolio. Mm, amen. And that you don't even necessarily need to focus on paying down the debt because the rents just keep going up and up and up, right? Exactly. Thanks, Tom, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you know, in another 10, 20 years, like the amount of debt, you know, it 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 won't mean as much. Mm. Yes. 
All right, cool. So one last question for you before we wrap this up. Sure. What is one piece of advice that you would give to anybody else? So think, you know, mum working, got a kid at home full time, got a husband as well working away, they own their own home. What's one piece of advice that you would give them um, in terms of thinking about building their portfolio or any advice, any tips? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess just for me personally, it was having the knowledge and having someone in your corner who has that knowledge, who you can bounce off all the time um, to create that empowerment and confidence within yourself to make those decisions. Um, And just know that it's a journey. It's not something that will obviously change your life overnight, but it will change your life. Um, And just, you know, it's, it's, it's a relatively, uh, I don't know what the word is, but it's, it's not, a hard risk um you will reap the rewards you know the australia is so young like we just have so many opportunities here in real estate so yeah that's i love that so good thank you rachel i just would also like to acknowledge your um your optimistic view on life as well because i can say right now you've had a few challenges thrown your way throughout this entire process of purchasing this investment property and every single time your mindset was it's okay What's the answer, Olivia? What else can we do to get around this? You were extremely yeah. optimistic um, and you weren't focused on the downside. You were focused on the the upsides to whatever happened. So if you just take that with you forever, you'll be laughing. So well done. Oh, thank you. Makes it easy. Thank you. Same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been great. Legend. Thanks for your time. Oh, yeah, no worries.